Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD, finally getting around to doing the clean install of Mountain Lion on the partition that I created in today's first video with a USB stick like I created in today's second video. So if you missed either of those, they'll be annotated up towards the top corner of this video. And for now, now that we have the USB drive plugged in, the first thing we want to do is shut down the Mac, like so. Now once it's powered down, we're going to go ahead and press the power button again, but we're going to hit the option key a couple times and then hold it, and we're going to look for a couple different boot up options. So you can see we have the Macintosh HD, we have the recovery hard drive, and then we have the Mac OS USB drive that we created. That's the one we want to enter and boot into. So go ahead and double click that, let it load up. Now once we're to this screen, obviously we're going to select our language that corresponds to whatever language you speak. I obviously use English. And then we're going to want to go over to Disk Utility first because this will apply to if you're doing a fresh install, uh, not just the partition that I'm doing. So let's go ahead and select that, continue. And you can see right here I have a couple options selected because I created a partition. So I actually want the Mountain Lion boot drive partition that I created earlier. If you were doing a clean install without the partition, you'd want to select your hard drive, head over to the Erase section. Make sure it is formatted to Mac OS Extended Journal, and then name it whatever you want. For this instance, mine is already set up just to make sure to uh, troubleshoot it and double check it. Make sure to check to uh, Mac OS Extended Journal. It's already titled, so we're going to hop out of here. Now you would just follow those procedures if you wanted to do a clean install. So since mine is already ready, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the reinstall section, the OS 10. Hit continue. So now we can see the OS 10 Mountain Lion install screen. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Then we're going to read through it amazingly fast. Agree. Now if you can see I have a few different options here. I have the Mountain Lion boot drive partition and the Macintosh HD. If you don't have a partition you won't see this option but since I did that and if you're following the first video you're going to want to select the corresponding drive and make sure it installs on the proper drive. So for this instance I want to do Mountain Lion boot drive. If you're just doing a clean install just install it to the available drive that you see. So let's go ahead and click install right here. Your computer is not connected to a power source. Uh, I should be fine, I have 100% battery. If you wanna plug it in, just for the peace of mind, you can do so. And now we just wait. It should be a little quicker here since we're using a USB 3.0 flash drive. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing and then I'll catch you guys back as soon as it finishes up. All right, so we're just about wrapping it up. We got just under a minute left. Uh, if you guys are just doing a clean install and not doing a partition, you're pretty much done. So go ahead and uh, exit this video and enjoy Mountain Lion. If you are doing the partition with me, go ahead and keep watching because I'm going to show you guys how to select which drive to boot onto. So for now, let's go ahead and hit restart and boot back into Mountain Lion for the first time. Now if you want to control where you boot up from, if you head up to the Options tab, the little Apple logo, System Preferences. Then we're going to select the Startup Disk right here. And by default, it looks like it's set to Mountain Lion. So if that's cool with you, you're good to go. If you'd prefer to boot into Lion for the dual boot option as a default setting, just go ahead and select this. And uh, like I said, if you're cool with Mountain Lion, you're all set to go. So for now, I think I'll leave it here as default. If you want to choose where at the boot up, you can always hold down Option upon Power Up, and that'll give you the boot up options like we did in the Install section. But aside from that, that's pretty much everything you need to know. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, feel free to do so. And other than that, go enjoy Mountain Lion. I'm going to go mess around with it.